So we've defined what the local average treatment effect is, but how do you actually compute it in your data set? Well, let's see. We'll start by describing our population of units. Now, each person in the population, I'm going to describe by a box that has two parts. In the left-hand side of the box, I showed their potential outcome if they're assigned to the treatment group. On the right-hand side of the box, I show their potential outcome if they're assigned to the control group. So for example, this person right here, when they're assigned to the treatment group, they actually take the treatment. They get treated. They receive the treatment. When they're assigned to the control group, they also take the treatment. They also receive treatment. So this person is an always taker. Regardless of which group they're assigned to, they always take the treatment. And there are going to be other people in our population who are also always takers. This person right here, when they're assigned to the treatment group, they don't take the treatment. They don't actually receive it. When they're assigned to the control group, they also don't take the treatment. So regardless of what they're assigned to, they don't take the treatment. Therefore, they are a never taker. They never take the treatment. And there are other people in our population who could be never takers. Finally, I have this person here. When they're assigned to the treatment, they actually take the treatment. They get treated. When they're assigned to the control group, they don't take the treatment. They don't get treated. So this person is a complier. And there are other people in the population who are also compliers. And in general, there's a lot and lot of people in this population. So for example, the entire population of the US has many, many people. So I've only shown a few of them here, but generally we have a lot more. One box for every person. And you may remember from before that there was this fourth category of people, a defier, people who don't take the treatment when you put them in the treatment group, and they do take the treatment when you put them in the control group. I haven't drawn any of them here because I'm imposing the no defiers assumption. I'm simply assuming that there aren't any defiers in our population. So now that we've described the population, let's see how we can actually compute late with data from this.